U.S. politics, because one of your countrymen just came here. You may not know this, because you were in the Arctic. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. well, Donald Trump, you know, has called climate change a hoax. Well, uh, on Wednesday, British politician <laughs> Nigel Farage joined Trump at a campaign rally in Mississippi. He's one of the leaders, of course, of Britain's campaign to leave the European Union, known as Brexit. I'm telling everyone else, not you, Emma, you know. Trump's praised Brexit, saying the British people had, quote, taken back their country. Well, for Raj didn't endorse Trump exactly on Wednesday, but he did slam Hillary Clinton. This is what he said. If I was an American citizen, I wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton if you paid me. You can go out. You can beat the pollsters. You can beat the commentators. You can beat Washington. And you'll do it by doing what we did for Brexit in Britain. That's Nigel Farage, who is the leader of the Brexit movement. Um, uh, Emma yeah. Thompson, now that you've heard what he has to say, your comments of his foray into U.S. election politics? Um, well, there are no words, really. Uh, Nigel Farage is a, you know, I mean, he's, no, he's a nationalist, he's a white nationalist, and um, that's what a Donald Trump is, and so it's very, it's very distressing. And what do you mean by white <laughs> to nationalist? Hear, to hear when, him when you say white ever. nationalist, what do you uh, mean? I mean, I feel that in some ways the less said about Donald Trump, the better. Um, but I, I do see that it is a terrifying situation, and actually. Um, Mr. Prashad, who I was listening to earlier, was so wonderful on the subject because he said from the outside looking in, one of the things that actually I, I mean, obviously, if I were an American citizen, I would be voting for Clinton. And, and one of the reasons for that is that she understands the reality of climate change. It is extraordinary that any person with anything really between their two ears could deny climate change at this point. I mean, that is an act of such extraordinary denial in the face of 98 percent of the world's scientists coming out and saying, actually, you know what, it is. Even the IPCC, which is normally quite a, a sort of gentle commentator on it, says, we're in really big trouble now, and we really have to act. So um, if he does get into power, um, he's going to have an awful lot to do to deal with on that front. But it is terrifying from, from every point of view. I did agree with Mr. Prashad, though. I, I, I agree Emma with Thompson, we're going to have to leave it there. Are... That does it for our show. Academy Award-winning actress and longtime activist, I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez.